Hello everybody and welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play Battlefield Iraq. Today we will be fighting in the Battle of Medina Ridge, one of the most crucial battles of the war. Unfortunately, I have a throat infection and a cold today, meaning that I won't be able to give a commentary as passionate as before. Expect less talking and more shooting. Because this is a very big battle indeed. And as you can see, the Americans are already starting to put pressure on our forces. However, we are used to this by now. After all, today we are fighting as the elite Medina Luminous Brigade of the Iraqi Republican Guard. Which means that just like last time, we are well trained and prepared. This means that we have a fighting chance against the Yankee foe. And that's all that we need. A chance. Because the American offensive is going to be fierce. This much is a fact by now. What is yet to be decided is whether we can defeat the Americans successfully or not. As you can see, these foul American bastards are causing heavy casualties to our forces with their rockets and with their tanks. However, we must overcome. Take this, you stinky, lousy American bastard! There we go, we knocked out an Abrams shot an American. Now it's time to hold this base. Because if we can't hold the line, all will be lost. We have retaken the first line center. Who knows, if all goes well, we'll be able to hold on the first line low. So I don't want to be that this optimistic so early on. Instead, I'll be dueling with this Bradley tank, hoping that I can knock him out. He's barely managing to penetrate my frontal armor, and this is a good thing. This T-62 still has some use, it seems. Now the Americans are over there, aiming at our forces, trying to bombard them. But it won't work. They'll do nothing. Another American assault appears to be beginning. This is bad. Very bad indeed. So this is why I'm going to charge. Charge across Medina Ridge. Which is named after all after us, the Medina Luminous Brigade, elite of the elite, brave of the brave, leaders of the Republican Guard, and servants loyal and proud of the dear President Saddam. For those who want some more background information, we are still fighting in the south of Iraq. However, This battle will not be as big as the previous one. It is the second largest battle, second largest tank battle of the war though. And that means that it's very important. 
And that's why I will stop at nothing to defeat these Americans. Take that! Yankee bastard, you'd better fucking run! Alright, we've lost the second line north and the second and first line center. Shit. Okay, this is very bad. I was hoping for a miracle at Medina, but it doesn't seem like it'll happen. Let me check if there's any scud launchers here so I can give these Americans a preliminary bombardment. I don't see any. Which means that I'll have to counterattack in a tank. Not that it's a problem for me. The fact is that this is a crucial battle and it will be the last chance we have to really contain the American offensive in southern Iraq. As you can see, they've brought in some heavy bombers, and I'm quite scared. I'm not going to say that I'm soiling myself or anything like that, because that would be an exaggeration. But I am certainly shaking a little. And it's not because of my cold. It seems like the Americans are, on, are going on a constant offensive rather than bothering to defend the places that they have seized. This will work to our advantage as we capture this American base once more, as we recapture our perfectly preserved outpost. The Americans are crossing the ridge again. Time to teach them another lesson. This fucking Apache right here is about to get its just desserts. Take that, you bastard! Now let's begin our counteroffensive, because this crusade ends here. No matter what you like to call it, this is a new crusade. We are defending our holy land against the infidels. Sure, they might not be Franks, but they're Yanks, and that's close enough for me. Using this heavy tank right here, with my high explosive anti-tank shells, these crusaders will be purged from Iraq. This jihad shall destroy them! We must not allow them to aim at our troops, to zero in on their targets. Because if we do, all is lost. Now this Bradley is pretty eager to use its rockets. We've knocked him out though. That's a good sign. Only to get knocked out by an Apache. That's a slightly worse sign. So it's time to do some damage control. And to get in this tank. The way things are looking, this might end up becoming a two-part episode. I don't have any problems with that. And honestly, It'll be pretty cool. Regardless, I'm going to use this Gvozdika self-propelled gun. Because it seems more than capable of turning these Americans into dust. Now, is this an American right here? Yes, it is. Well, let's teach him a lesson. Let's give him some Arab hospitality. Grenade lobbing bastard! I'll get you! Ah, he killed himself. Okay, that's great. Time to clamber back into my tank and continue the fight. This battle seems a lot harder than the battle of uh, 73 Easting. That's for sure. But we should be able to manage it anyway. Allah willing, anyway. Inshallah. Now I need to enhance my anti-tank capabilities. Because these Americans are coming in force. 
The fact is that a loss at Medina Ridge would be catastrophic. Which is why I'm getting back into Gvozdika to blow up some Abrams tanks. These are the strongest guns at our disposal. And I am going to certainly use them. Now, I'm going to spawn on our last outpost on the first line and try to retake some of these bases. If all goes well, we'll be able to encircle these Yankee bastards. Now, USI bot 20, Habibi, get in the tank! Get in the tank, Habibi! Okay, he just went floppy there, that's not good. Anyway, he was an idiot, we did not need him in the Iraqi army. He had a bad effect on morale, and unfortunately, he isn't the only one. Now, I'm surprised that the Americans have yet to take our tanks, which we have basically fixed in those emplacements. Since we were using them quite extensively back when we had the base. Thank God they haven't hijacked them, because it means that we can take them back. Take them back for Iraq. Now I'm going to shoot down this Black Hawk helicopter and begin to recapture our first outpost on the first line. If we can take the first line back, we will have the Americans on the run. Here we go, shit is getting serious. The Americans are respawning. They've knocked out my tank, so I'm gonna clamber into the next one. However, due to the way that things are structured here, we will have to retake the base for stuff to respawn. Luckily, we've been able to take the base back, which means that we'll be able to teach these Americans a lesson as well. Come on, right here, you servant of Bush, you servant of Zionism and of Israel! Get closer so I can shoot you good. What the hell is going on? I just got flipped upside down. That was about 720 degrees. I don't even know want to know what happened there. I honestly don't. All I know is that these Americans are hurting us badly and that I'll be needing this American tank to fight back. Now who the hell is shooting me? That's the all-important question right here. Who is shooting at me? Damn, they captured our vehicle and used it to blow up an Abrams. This is bad. This is very bad. Let me be frank with you here. The battle for Medina Ridge might be a loss for Iraq. But we cannot allow these Americans to win. If it's going to be a loss, it shall be a loss for both sides! And my poor throat is starting to fall apart. Right. Anyway, let's get some revenge on this smog son of a bitch. Take that USI bot 35, infidel bastard. You shall not cross the ridge. I swear. On my pride. Mother fucking Apache, okay. Well then. Let's continue to fight. We shall follow in the brave footsteps of the ancient kings of Babylon and the Fakad. We shall pick up where Hammurabi, Sargon, and the Muchadnezar left off. These Americans are the new Assyrians. They are barbarians with no place in the Middle East. Now let's just pray for accuracy here as we lob some shells at the Americans. Because they've breached the second line 
and I need to react to that. Now, we're pretty much under heavy pressure right now. We're doomed, basically. I was hoping for a miracle at Medina, but it seems that it was not meant to be. They've breached the second line. May Allah have mercy on our souls. Because it's time to fix this breach. To stop up this gap. And to wring a few Americans by the throats. I will not allow myself to be vanquished that easily. Luckily this time around we were able to go right through the barbed wire instead of being turned into dust. This is progress. Take that to the moon with you, son of a bitch. I'll see you in the International Space Station. Because in space, nobody can hear you shout Allahu Akbar! Now, we have fixed up the gap that the Americans had torn in our line. Now let's tear these ganks a new one. First step is not getting blow out, blown up by that Apache. We've already failed there. But nonetheless, we cannot allow ourselves to be defeated. We shall make this battle a nightmare for the Americans if they want to try and defeat us. They will have to fight blood, sweat and tears if they want to defeat Iraq. We will make them shed rivers of blood, if not oceans of blood, if they want to force Iraq to surrender or to lay down its arms. America's attempt to take over the Middle East and today. Because after we throw these Americans out of our dear Iraq, the people of the Arab world will realize that they have been abused and oppressed for much too long. As Saddam Hussein once said, the Americans treat the Middle East like an Iraqi peasant treats his bride. Three days of honeymoon and then it's off to the fields. If you ask me, this statement is unfortunately true. However, if we invest our efforts into this battle, into this campaign, we will be able to thwart these American schemes. And never more shall Mr. H.W. Bush doubt the strength of the Arabs. Those Israeli Zionist Jews, those Ashkenazi bastards won't either. This shall be the watershed of the Iraq War. And I will fight non-stop to make our victory a reality. Now let's get out of this ditch, blow up this American before he can react, shoot this comatose bastard over here, run over this one, cross some trenches, and hold the line. God damn it, so close, but so far. I guess we'll just have to keep on fighting. I believe that now is a good time to declare the end of episode 10. Tune in to episode 11 to see whether we can hold Medina Rich. I've been the Nerd Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next installment of Battlefield Iraq.
Bye.